What's up, LHS? Welcome back to your Blue Devil News. I'm Emily. And I'm Elena. Seniors, please go buy guidance to fill out your information sheet so that guidance will know where to send your final transcripts after graduation and to honor you at the Senior Honors Assembly. Also, students, your ACTs are in. You may pick them up in between classes and guidance. All remaining AP balances are due today. You must pay your balance by the deadline or you will not be able to take the test. Balances can be paid with cash or checking guidance or online with a card. AP Calculus Review for the AP National Test will be Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, April 30th and May 1st, from 2.30 until 4 p.m. Sessions will be in A111 with Ms. Pack. Yearbooks are still on sale for $85. According to Ms. Peterson's door, there is only about 193 left. Please be sure to order before it's too late. Final exams for underclassmen will be administered on May 22nd and 23rd. Students may leave campus after exams with a written parent permission. Students are responsible for bringing a parent note to the main office before the 20th. The math lab room is open from 2.30 to 3.15 in A104. If you need help for any math class, please stop by. Students can bring homework, quizzes, practice problems, notes, or anything else that they need help with. Now, let's throw it to Ian with sports brought to you by Louie and Dewey Law. Attention parolees, this is an important message regarding lawsuits. Please do not disregard. Have you been accused of stealing a driveway? Throw in an alligator, through a window, or stabbing someone in the butt? If the answer is yes, then you need us. Our law firm has had a total of two years to master and perfect our techniques of fighting for difficult cases. You may get compensation of up to $20 in settlements. We can get the money you may or may not deserve. Our team of three people can fight and win your case. All you have to do is call the number below and we may or may not pick up to look at your case. Call or email us today. Have you or a loved one ever been accused of wrongfully kidnapping, murdering someone, or stealing a manhole cover? Well, we can help. Our specific team can help you and countless others receive justice for wrongfully accused crimes. I'm Dewey. And I'm Louie. And we'll turn your pain into, into rain. rain. <laughs> Call us toll free at 1-800-554-GOTCHUNK. Again, that's 1-800-554-GOTCHUNK. One more time, that's 1-800-554-GOTCHA. What's up, LHS? I'm Ian, and this is your sports news. Last night, the first round of the NFL Draft took place here in Nashville. Kyler Murray was the first pick in the draft. He was picked by the Arizona Cardinals. Kyler Murray came out of Oklahoma and was the Heisman Trophy winner in the 2018 season. Originally, he was going to play baseball for the Oakland Athletics baseball organization but he dropped out of that and decided to play football. Kyler Murray is also the first athlete to be drafted in the first round by both the NFL and the MLB. Additionally, this is the first time in football history that a player has been drafted first overall from the same team and position two years in a row. First Baker Mayfield, now Kyler Murray. Over 200,000 attended last night. This is the most anyone has ever attended at an NFL draft. We had an inside man here from BDN at the draft last night getting some great footage. Check it out. I don't like that. The Miami Dolphins select Christian Wilkins, defensive tackle. Clemson. With the 15th pick in the 2019 NFL Draft, the Washington Redskins select Dwayne Haskins, quarterback, Ohio State. In the 2019 NFL Draft, the Carolina Panthers select Brian Burns, with the 19th pick in the 2019 NFL Draft, the Tennessee Titans select Jeffrey Simmons. He wins a tackle, Mississippi City. Braves lost to the Cincinnati Reds last night with a final score of 2-4. The Braves will take on the Rockies beginning today at 6-20. They will continue the series over the weekend, with the second game starting tomorrow night at 6-20 and the third game beginning Sunday at 12-20. The Cardinals take on the Reds beginning tonight at 7.15. They will continue tomorrow at 1.15 and Sunday at 1.15.
Last night, the Sounds lost to Iowa 4-8. They will continue tonight at 7 and tomorrow night at 7 and Sunday at 1. UT's baseball team begins a three-game series today with Arkansas and will continue through the weekend. The game begins at 6.30. Last night, Vandy's baseball team defeated Auburn 12-6. They will play them again today starting at 7 and tomorrow starting at 1. Yesterday, our softball team took on rivals Wilson Central. The Lady Devils led 12-2 midway through the fourth inning, but the Lady Wildcats roared back quickly. Some key plays came from Addie Grace Porter, Kyla Burton, Maddie Kimball, and Elena Smith. After a hard-fought game, our Lady Devils won 15-14. Lebanon will go to Gallatin's Triple Creek Park on Friday for Gallatin Classic. That's all I have for you, LHS. I'm Ian, and this has been your Sports News. Thanks, Ian. Skills USA will have its final meeting of the year on Wednesday, May 8th after school. Any members interested in running for an officer position next year should pick up an application from Mr. Lakeman and plan to give their campaign speech at the meeting. In February, the Chamber Choir earned a superior rating at the MTVA Regional Choral Festival, which qualified them for state. Yesterday, we traveled to Lipscomb University for the ACDA State Choral Festival. They earned a superior rating again. This is truly an incredible accomplishment. And this group has had a very successful year. Congratulations. AP Human Geography exam tutoring will be held in room B101. Tutoring will be every Tuesday and Thursday from 2.30 to 3.15. The study group will meet for about four weeks. Host a peach sale is going on now through May 19th. This is a huge fundraiser for our organization and your support of this event is greatly appreciated. Let's see what our Shoulder Devil is up to. Greetings ladies and gentlemen. My name is Anthony and welcome to the Shoulder Devil Review. Today I want to talk about a really cool show that makes you think about the future, but also makes you contemplate your actions now. Today I'm reviewing the Netflix series Black Mirror. Black Mirror is a show where the main theme revolves around modern technology or the technology that is to come. There are four seasons with episodes typically around 45 minutes long, so you're in for a treat if you're into that sort of thing. Each episode features different characters and situations that demonstrate how technology can be a slippery slope. While it can provide us with information and multiple benefits, Corrupt individuals and software ruin the fun for everyone. Hey, that rhymed. No two scenarios are alike, and again, each episode features some sort of message related to how society is being ruined by technology. I think one of my favorite things about this show is how dark and messed up it is. As you watch an episode, certain details and notes that you might have gotten in the beginning begin to connect later, and all the imagery and subliminal messages make you uneasy as you realize what and why something happened concerning the technology that's focused on in that episode. This show is not meant for small children, but I mean, we're all in high school, so I think it's fine. It's not exactly graphic in the sense of gore, but there is frequent use of harsh language and there are some adult themes. And of course, as if I haven't said it enough already, there are some very dark themes, messages, and situations that take place within the show. I honestly recommend you check out Black Mirror. Uh, there's no exact starting point, but, you know, it's better if you just start with the first episode and ease into it. Uh, very nice series. I like it. Thank you all for watching. I'm going to throw it back to the news now. Thanks, Anthony. Well, that's all the news we have for today, LHS. I'm Emily. And I'm Elena. And this, this has been news to you from the white and blue. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. Storms we chase are leading us and